Okay, Shalom, um, blessings and greetings. Um, if you hear the noise, they're working on the house right now. Um, some work is being done. But I just realized I didn't finish part two of the other video regarding those that uh, work more than one job. Um, certain things that you do in this reality, it becomes, it uh, initiates you into whatever ritual they have put into the masses or that has been written or spoken for the masses. Uh, for instance, if you are um, working more than one job or maybe just working one job, period, and your paycheck to paycheck or um, what it does is it conforms you to to their reality, meaning you can see yourself outside of that job. It's like um, it makes you uh, slavery to their system. And the more you work, the more you see that you have to work and the more uh, expenses and things come up that fit the work that you're doing. Um, some people have been increased by the type of job, uh, they would get a good job that will be sufficient enough for their expenses and income. However, they are automatically tied to the holidays. The holidays are a ritual. They're automatically tied to the rules of that position as well as the rules of life. You are, you are sort of left alone, so to speak, because you are not a problem problem for them. You are um, a part of the initiation and this is highly important. And you may have thoughts and dreams about um, starting your own company and business and um, I can help you with that. But one thing that has to be done is your mindset has to be prepared for otherwise the business that you create will also become a part of the initiation. And you have to pay their taxes. You would have to comply to their rules. Um, you know, there is good business off the grid. Uh, most people don't know that. They feel as if the government aids them in whatever they need in this lifetime, and that's not true. The heavens, um, and I will say the heavens, of, um, for the purposes of many different religions, or no religion, um, type of individual may may check out this video and so um, the EM which is the I am the heavenly creation his counterpart in all of his government they're overseeing how the people are being initiated into a system and you openly initiate yourself you openly initiate yourself because you pledge allegiance to the flag. You obey their rules. And I'm not telling you to go out and break laws. Once I break down these things a little bit more to you, you will understand. But for those that have understanding already, this video is for you. Um, you can't put, you know, videos regarding ascension or trying to do ascension and then you go and you clock in to work or you have to be a person that's self-sufficient that can really live outside the outside of the, the uh, matrix really live off the grid um, that has been me I've been living off the grid for 22 years and not realizing I was put into a position by by the creator so that I can be a living witness as to how this thing can really be be done and handled. There's been some some bad times, some good times, but overall, I have been off the grid and I have been self sufficient and I've been taking care of self. So, um, I wanted to 
to do part two to the part one because I realized, well, not that I realized, <clears throat> as I said, the, the heavens above, they lead me a lot. And, um, and they just been prompting me and prompting me, you need to be more clear on the original video. And uh, what I wanted to point out was that once you clock in to, to the job, once you clock into church, once you clock into any of the materialistic distractions they have created for you in this realm, you are a part of the initiation. You could say, you know, I'm not into politics. I study myself. I just work. You're still a part of their system. And if martial law happens, police day happens, you you will be one of the ones that go with them when they say go. You know, um, you have to be off the grid to be unnoticed, basically. Uh, and I have, I have uh, experienced and I have proof and I know how to live off the grid. I've even been in situations where they're trying to locate me in the system and like we we can't locate you where'd you come from you know um, and that is protection of the heavens that is wisdom knowledge and understanding that I have been given so it's been quite interesting in this realm. Knowing both realms is pretty heavy. Um, certain topics that I'm given enlightenment to, certain um, answers to people I'm given that <sighs> pretty heavy. I'll just say that because living in both realms is very interesting. Sometimes it becomes a little bit um, tedious and tiresome knowing one one aspect but being in another aspect has been very very heavy uh, for me but I've been made numb to a lot of it and I'm so grateful for it they have they understand that um, it it could be very difficult at times and I'm grateful, you know, that they have a an eye over me watching. So, let me just say this. Working two jobs, you can't see, even working one job, and you're there all day long, and all you think about is the weekend and freeing yourself. But then you're still not fully free. You're still feeling like, I still need more, you know, I, I'm missing something in you know, and some may go to a church, some may go to a, an empowerment meeting, and you, you're still not getting it. Uh, it's because you're mentally and um, enslaved, and, and also physically enslaved, and you're saying, you know, I'm not enslaved, I'm free to roam about and do. Of course, you're free to roam about on their turf, under their rules, and... <clears throat> this was never really this was never really their land anyway each planet had their own turf each planet had their own beings and many of the beings came here because many of the um, planets went to war celestial war and lost and lost their space so many different um, ones came here and They colonized, capitalized, and many still in control. And we're walking around as zombies. And you're not thinking you're a zombie. You know it's something wrong. You definitely know something is wrong. And you definitely know that um, there's more to life than there is. And um, if you're doing the ascension process, if you heard about it, you have to, it's life consuming, so you have to wake up doing it. Going, it has to become a part of nature because the, the earth itself is ascending. And um, you have to ascend with it. Otherwise, you'll be sucked in. And um, 
I can put more steps for that, but I just wanted to clarify in video one that all of the distractions, clocking in to job, um, going to church or going to certain programs or um, trying to research more, all distractions, because it starts with you as the individual. Um, if you are a true biochemical being or you're receiving some type of enlightenment somehow, you already have the connection. So you just need to put two and two together. Distractions. Going to the job, clock it in. So now you're on a time, uh, a time law. There's laws for everything because everything vibrates. Everything is energy. So you're on a time law. So... And you're saying, I got to get to work. I got to get to work at this time. I'm going to be late. So you're in traffic. That's a distra distraction. You're in, you're rushing. You're upset. You're frustrated. Um, emotions is a part of it. That's a part of their the, the laws that they have um, hinged upon. Then on top of that, you 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 got to get the gas. You got to um, gotta pay the credit card bill. You got to pay the light bill. There's so many things that's running through your mind. Um, you're running into work, uh, emotions from work, people that you're running into. It's all a part of the system. It's all a part of distraction. It's all a part of keeping your mind busy so you don't stop and realize and say, Hey, what in the world is going on? I, I didn't sign on for this. I, didn't, I don't have to do this. Um, the person that came up to you uh, at work and annoyed you or you know made you laugh or Initiated conversation that is all a part of the system That's all a part of the system. There are some that are clones. There are some that are that are um, just regular human human or you know, it's my other video mankind humankind and uh, Different types I'll just say that for now because uh, you may look at this video and say what's she talking about? But that's all a part of the system made to not knowing that they were made to, not knowing that they were led, and everything's led spiritually, everything is energetically kinetic, connected, everything is led by energy and vibration. And they were just led and drawn to you for a reason. That wasn't by accident. To create that new emotion in your being, to cause an interruption in your day, to um, give you a new form of thinking. The moment you start um, sinking out of reality, and you're more observing things, the person is going to come. The situation occurs. The phone call comes through. Um, the new event for your life for that time frame comes. It, it just happens that way just to keep you constantly distracted and constantly emotionally bound because the emotions is, is how they feed off of you. They have to have you at a certain emotional level in order to feed into you and, and to keep you connected to them. Next thing you know, I'm, you know, some people are stressed out because the internet went off or um, the power went out. and It's just so many things that, that they hit you with. And so now you consume with that for the day. The moment that um, you are about to receive enlightenment, the moment that you are about to embark onto something new outside of them, they're going to send you something. And that's because you are a part of the system. You're able to be tapped into easily. So that paycheck becomes a reward for that work, but you're never really reaching your goal and you're never really fully um, obtaining the what you need. Or you may get the exact amount that you need. You may have tapped in some to to a little bit of the laws of attraction and um, reaped a little from that from then and then it all stopped or you know you may have um, getting what you need for that time frame because they reward you periodically the heavens cannot be contradicted when they allowed certain things in the law of attraction, in the realm of existence to come into the realm of reality. If they allowed you access to power manifestation, it's, it's so that they are proven to be true. They have to remain true. They can't be contradicted. They allowed you to taste, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. 
you know, that's the scripture. There's many scriptures for every facet of your life. Trust me. Um, or don't trust me. You know, it's, you know, it's how, what, how have you led and, and drawn to, um, this is for that individual. Order and correction, because I am speaking to a certain group, and that's who I will get this message out to when they hear it. Okay? You will... Um, be distracted, be far removed, and once you